Hi everyone and a big warm welcome. This video is brought to you by the Academy of Holistic Mediumship in working partnership with www.shangag.com. So guys, something really, really funky I'm hoping, something very different, something I felt really inspired uh, to work on over this last month or so. Um, a few things have kind of just gently come together um, and this absolutely feels a really wonderful way of looking at the influences around us at this time and looking at kind of you know any messages that are there and being able to kind of connect with you guys in a very kind of physical and tangible way and moving forwards we are going to be hosting some live events as well so um what we're going to do how this is all going to work i've got three decks of cards i'm going to introduce the cards to you and then i'm going to kind of invite you to choose a deck one of the decks and then i'm going to take a card from one of those decks and we're going to just work through the messages and the insights that the cards are offering at this time and also really look at the influences around us at this time and as well as any spirit messages that come through um, and my intention with that um, and our intention importantly our intention with that is for us to kind of connect uh, with those of you that are watching and, and just kind of bring that um, and the messages together from, from the spirit from the ENA so let me kind of introduce the cards to you so um, on a daily basis this is the set that I work with most often and normally on my consultations either via Skype or face to face and it's a deck of cards I've had for a very long time now um, and I absolutely adore them and love them um, and these are the Psy cards okay spelled P-S-Y as in Psy and then cards um, and they are very very punchy you know they have some very very clear symbols clear messages the home and actually as I turn that and I haven't really pulled the cards I'm introducing them but as I turn that um, someone's just moving and feeling really excited so someone here in the audience is either got the news they're moving or they have just moved but they're incredibly excited um, everything they've worked towards for some time is coming to fruition you know these are very clear messages and it's a wonderful lovely card um, let's have a look um, give you another taste of what the cards can offer you know puzzle you know very straightforward very very direct one I love cave living with living inwardly living inwardly um, living inside out or maybe it's a time reflection um, time to go within maybe you find yourself in a void you know these these are punchy cards so there's the side cards and these beautiful cards were whoa not the, not the camera flying fantastic these wonderful cards were um, gifted to me so these cards were gifted to me um, from a very very dear friend um, and the wild wood tarot really really lovely um, and this beautiful book that comes with it look at the imagery within the wild wood tarot absolutely stunning imagery an image that really speaks to me you know winter solstice is absolutely stunning I love this book and I'm I'm not a, a fan of books uh, predominantly because I feel that if you're learning to read tarot you should kind of just allow the cards to speak to you directly but this book is beautiful um, and those of you that are inspired to read tarot I have a wonderful set of tutorials uh, within my playlist um, here on YouTube on development um, and in there is a whole set of tarot tutorials um, but yes yeah, it's a beautiful image look at the reef on the door somewhere that I would like to go and visit and uh, sit by the fire tipple of mead or a steaming hot cup of tea 
beautiful, wonderful image. Yeah, love that. Um, and these, you know, again, they're very, they're very me, they're very, very mystical. Um, you know, they've got some really wonderful images in there. The Shaman, what a beautiful card. It's actually stunning. Another one. Very archetypal, beautiful, the seer, stunning cards. Okay, so that's the Wildwood Tarot, um, gifted by a very dear friend um, last last winter solstice. Um, solstice, I'm sure it was. Ostera, thank you. Last deck of cards, and then it's about you guys choosing one of the decks so you'll choose one of the decks have one of the decks in mind and then i'm going to put a card and we're going to see what spirit messages are there so last deck this is the psychic tarot oracle deck um designed created by john holland who i have a huge immense amount of respect for as a holistic and i would say it's a holistic medium so psychic tarot oracle deck wonderful um, 65 cards within this deck um, and again really really what lovely really lovely um, again gifted um, gifted my last birthday from a, another wonderful friend feel very loved um, really beautiful and um, she uses them in her her practice her work as a therapist, oh, as a card that want to jump out, I just wanted to show you, give you a feel. Um, again, they're very, very direct. And I'm going to pick up the card that's on the floor there. Very, very direct, very clear messages that come through. Okay, really beautiful. Something going on with that card for someone that is is watching. It's not an end. Um, it's not an end, but it's important to take some time to reevaluate what you actually want. And I just smell floral scent as a lady linking in from spirit. The name either Kathy or Catherine, this side of life, earth side of life, something to do with this. It could be the name of the link that side of life but I'm, I'm not feeling it is but the name Kathy or Catherine and heartache and loss it's a bit how these messages just come in um, another one and I think it links really with the message that we've just shared uh, positive movement forwards okay with some reflection really identifying what you want um, there's going to be positive movement forwards just going to pick up the card that dropped on the floor. It's the card that's jumped. <laughs> Very cool. Loving this. Loving this. I knew it would be a beautiful way of working and a way of connecting with all of you. Um, Spirit kept nudging me to do it, and here we are. Um, third eye chakra. So, linking this in with the last two cards that we've just stumbled upon as I. Um, introduce them heartache and loss really reflect really think about and again that name Kathy or Catherine earth side of life someone's trying to reach a Kathy or Catherine who's gone through a heartache or loss the other thing is guys is those of you who are watching this and if you know somebody called Kathy or Catherine who is going through uh, a really challenging time maybe you can share the video with with your friends um, so these messages can reach them as well that would be absolutely beautiful heartache and loss but it's really important to kind of reflect actually what you want have you outgrown this situation predominantly you know really reflect on where you are where you find yourself um, and there's going to be positive movement forwards okay positive movement forwards and it's about trusting your instincts and your intuition 
trusting what you know to be right, what you see and know to be right. Okay, so there's the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Beautiful messages coming through. So we're already touching on the spirit messages. Spirit are without a doubt there. They're kind of running um, what's going on. I'm following their lead without a doubt. So, okay, so let's now run through the cards. So take a moment, take a moment and feel, think about what deck of cards that you want to connect with. Is it the Psychos? Is it the Wildwood Tarot? Or is it the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck? Take a moment now, choose and commit to those deck of cards, okay? Is it the Psy cards, the Wildwood Tarot, the Psychic Oracle Tarot deck? The Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, okay? So, I'm going to work now. Those of you that have chosen the Psy cards, here's going to be, there's a card there that wants to come out, there's two. Here's your message, and this is kind of for, for for now, moving forwards into the month of July. <laughs> okay, so um, those of you that chose the Psychic Oracle Tarot deck, there's, there's a definite sense that you are very highly sensitive. You're sensitive people, you're people that, that reflect, you're people that, that hold what goes on around you accountable you know you think very hard you think also about the ripples that you create within the world how your actions affect others which would in a way bring about a sense that you are highly sensitive people you're highly sensitive individuals that feel the weight of the world you feel um those things that happen around you, you feel the ripples through the world and there's a real sense of um, sometimes feeling a sense of anxiety but not knowing why. The thing is with that, and this is kind of a sense I get from spirit, is sometimes it's knowing what is yours and what is someone else's when you've got that level of sensitivity because I've said it many times, sometimes it's like walking around without a layer of skin. So highly sensitive, highly tuned in individuals, actually hugely empathic, okay? So you live from the inside out. Some of you may be experiencing that sense of void that I was talking about earlier. Um, and then the message that backs that up, because there were two cards that wanted to come together, the message that backs that up is the puzzle. Sometimes when things are falling apart, actually they're falling into place you know if everything's falling away what we need to trust is what remains okay so what remains has substance um i remember you know the first of january um this year 2019 woke up in the morning very very early before it was light and i stood there at the front door opened it up and um let in the sense of the new year the new day and the intention was, you know, very, very simple magic, but the intention was, was to blow out the old, blow in the new, blow out the false, blow in the true. Believe me, the shift I've gone through in these last six months has been absolutely huge based on that very powerful intention. You know, what remains, okay, so what remains, okay, what remains normally has substance and it's just gently trusting that process as everything is stripped away and you look at this this is you know fetal position there's a fragility to it but actually everything's been stripped away there's a sense of re-emergence light is at the end of the tunnel it's the phoenix rising from the ashes very very powerful that's for all of you that chose the side cards next up the Wildwood Tarot. Um, a little bit large to shuffle. Huh? I cannot shuffle cards, but I will mix them up and we will see. There's a card there that I feel drawn to. Okay, so I'm going to pull this one. So this is for those of you that have chosen the Wildwood Tarot. This is looking at those influences. And now, as we move forwards through time, 
in time. Um, okay, so two of stones, beautiful card this one. Two of stones, and it is the challenge. Okay, are you being tested? Those of you that have chosen the wild wood cards, are you being tested at this time? I would say, based on what I feel here and what I feel from behind me, and the innate kind of really bursting forwards, I think they're very excited to be working in this way. Is those of you that are drawn to this this deck of cards, you are natural leaders. It is about rising to the challenge because actually the other side of this challenge I believe there is some huge growth okay but you know there's two ways of approaching this challenge that is presenting itself do we kind of shrink back or do we meet it and I feel that the cards and the innate and then pushing through um, are, are saying to you very very strongly and very firmly you're being tested for a good reason now I always used to think you know why 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 but you know what what comes from that is immense growth at times but it's really hard to see it at the time it's not too after when we reflect do we see that growth and know that that you know growth has kind of changed us at some level you know spirit call it fertilizer for the soul shit for the soul um, and we grow from that, you know. Um, two, two of stones, and um, you are a natural leader. And the other thing is, it sometimes, you know, with those challenges, it's, it's, you know, it's almost breaking them down and looking at them in, in a kind of base level, looking at them in, in a way that you simplify them or you just strip them down. Um, you kind of take away some of the noise of that challenge and you look at it for what it truly is um, and, and in a way kind of taking some of the emotional response out of it which is not always easy that is that is a challenge in itself um, but also knowing that leadership is the way forwards here you know it's about kind of meeting it with a sense of leadership with a sense of strength um, rather than it pushing you over or pushing you around okay very powerful card and also you know you're locking horns with somebody are you are you in a confrontation um, and if so I feel that it's about again taking leadership not being pushed over not shrinking back your light is the message and feeling with that card Perfect, so moving on to the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Um, for those of you that have chosen this deck, let's have a look at um, what cards this is going to present itself. And then we'll see if we've got one or two spirit messages there as well. And um, this card here that feels like I want to pull it and draw it. So let's have a look, I'm not even sure what this card is. What a beautiful image beautiful image it is the shadow it's the shadow absolutely stunning imagery there you know a little bit more complex this message but you know what comes to mind and could feel the innate kind of just moving in again what comes to mind with this is are you are you starting to those of you that are drawn to this deck are you starting to really see who you are and I'm not you know you talk about the shadow you know is it the negative side you know I, I kind of often think you know it's not about seeing it as you know there's a positive side there's a negative side you know it's it's all continuous it's all one they're, they're aspects and parts of oneself is try not to see them are as a positive and a negative you know see it as a part of who you are and it's about nourishing or or meeting or or nurturing that you know I'm a very strong will person and you know quite often I, I look at myself and, oh my gosh you know there's a real stubbornness in me you know there there has to be um, a stubbornness and a drive in there to actually learn to walk again you know those of you many of you know the story you know um, nine years ago, I had to uh, get back up on my feet. I had to learn to walk again, two major operations. Um, and from that, I, I dug deep and I, 
I got back up off my feet. I'll be told I'd be in a wheelchair. I've done a lot of adventure cycling. You know, there's so much um, that I've done. And the attitude is based on one thing. It's about not letting it beat you, but to kind of have that mindset, you've got to have a bit of stubbornness, you know, so I know that I can be incredibly stubborn. However, what I try to do is nourish and nurture that and turn it, as we said, we don't want to work with the polarities, yet turn it into a positive, you know, so I don't see it as a negative, I nourish it and nurture it and meet it and heal it, you know. So, you know, your shadow doesn't have to be a negative, but it feels as if those of you who are drawn to this deck, you're coming into contact with those parts of yourself, you're coming into contact with your deeper self, and that sometimes can be very empowering, it also can be quite unsettling, you know, because layers move, things change, you transition, you're in transition, uh, you can't lie to yourself anymore, that's another part of this message, you can't lie to yourself anymore, if you're trying to make something work, is look at, is it working, and why am I trying to make it work, you know, maybe it's about sitting and reflecting on that, um, and, and, and kind of asking yourself those questions, but there's so much that's giving way, the other thing is, you're birthing aspects of self, you know, and I think underneath of that, there is absolutely true potential. So, you know, looking at looking at the messages that have been shared, July is looking to be quite a strong and very, very powerful month. Um, I've got a couple of messages that are wanting to come through. I've got a, a gentleman here by the name of George um, that I get him standing at the top of some stairs resting his hand on a lady's shoulder um, who is holding a wedding ring. She's holding a wedding ring, she's rubbing a we wedding ring between her finger and she's feeling a little bit unsure. Uh, George feels to be a grandfatherly vibration or a grandfatherly link um, but he's wanting this lady to know but he's there. So if you've got a grandfather by the name of George, this gentleman is linking to you. If you've been holding a wedding ring, or you're rubbing your fingers or your hands, and you're feeling a little bit unsure, um, a little bit fragile, uh, quite a bit exhausted, tired, know that George is with you. Um, you know, there's an uncertainty, there's been an anxiety that's to do with either stability, um, or, or kind of structure, he's there with you. Guys, I hope you've really, really enjoyed that. It's been an absolute pleasure to share it. I I really look forward to you moving forwards with this, this kind of new thing that we've brought into um, our YouTube channel, but um, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, it's been wonderful. And going forwards, we're looking at around October time, we will be um, we will be doing a live event as well. Um, those of you that follow the Ask Shane, that will continue, um, but I will be um, taking a break in the month of August, um, right the way till mid-September, summer holidays here, um, even though I'll be continuing to work some of those, um, it's a time to kind of just, just take some time, pause and recharge, and uh, fill back up with all that light, hopefully, um, which um, here in the UK, summertime. So, look forward to seeing you all uh, again very, very soon. In the meantime, keep shining and speak very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.